I'm Helena Bengtsson and I work for the Swedish television, the national broadcasting company of Sweden, as a database editor, which means that I help reporters, editors, researchers to gather data or even sometimes documents that we turn into databases to analyze them and to make journalism out of them. And recently we've also started to producing stuff on the web, so I also help the, the web news to gather data and put that up on the web. My advice when it, when it comes to huge amounts of documents and data is that you have to get organized one way or another and for me the easiest way to get organized is to put documents or and or data into start with Excel if Excel doesn't work you should use other database tools but I think that you will find interesting stuff even when you start entering for instance the contents of documents that you will find patterns that you won't see when you read the documents for instance and to have basic knowledge of how to use a spreadsheet maybe even how to use a database is something that every reporter needs I think if, if you can't afford the, the on-the-shelf software like Excel or Access, that sort of thing, nowadays it's not a big problem actually. A few years back that was a huge problem. Nowadays Google Documents works really well, uh, OpenOffice works well, and there's uh, tons of uh, software that is uh, very cheap or doesn't cost anything to, at all to help you organize your data, like Google Refine or databases like Postgres, SQL or My MySQL that actually helps you do that. So it's a little higher, the knowledge threshold is a little, little higher but not very much so I think that today, right now, is actually much easier than it was a couple of years back. Well the, the basic formulas if you ask for actual Excel or that kind of formulas I think would be to, to learn simple text handling formulas like how to like left, like how to choose the number of characters from the left in the text or, or right or mid, things like that. So to split names, for instance, are very useful to do that, to be able to do that. So that, and of course simple calculations like to do a percent, uh, to do a percent change or something like that, but that's not really a formula.